Okay, guys, interesting stuff with the throttle body injection. This is the 20250, and what I did is I cut through a bolt hole. Now, last time we did that, it was a big win. This time, doesn't look like a big win to me. Got to wonder why. Something else is, is showing, is, is rearing its ugly head and causing us problems. Now, as far as our liquid, it doesn't look quite as good as it was last time. It's a little more chunky around the valve and a little bit of gack around the uh, plug boss there. The bowl looks pretty good. Now, when I did flow this, I did put my bolt in there. So it's only going to feed air from the other port around the bolt, like it would be in a running engine without a tube. Now, I could also flow that with uh, like a Sharpie in there and it would block most of the, the air like a tube, but I didn't do that. Okay, we've got a lot of thick dicom on the valve and a decent spread around, not too bad. Okay, the only thing that really looks a little bit different here is we got some chunkies up by the, the uh, spark plug. Okay, you can look down and see how much more area we have versus stocker. Let me, uh, let me get the measurement and show you how much room we have. Okay, I gotta one hand this, so be patient with me, guys. Okay. Can we see exactly what that is? No, but it's probably 125 thousandths. Maybe more like 150 thousandths. So, yeah, you gave it a lot more area. Okay. Now, I really was expecting this to take off quite a bit, and it didn't. And I really have to look at the airspeeds and see what's, what's up. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, you're going to notice it's rusty because I poured it before I cut that bolt hole open. I thought it would be around, uh, I think I said it was going to be about 205 cc's. It is, was 213.5 cc's, which is a little generous for what it flows. You have to remember it, it's a different design, so... It's not, it's not quite as uh, efficient as a regular straight port. But that doesn't mean it won't make good power. In fact, it probably has much better combustion efficiency than a straight port. So you have to uh, add that into the equation. As far as our liquid and stuff here, It looks pretty good as far as what we got in the chamber across. This has got the same amount of deshrouding it had last time. What I think I'm going to wind up doing is, just before I cut these up, I may drill some holes in the chambers and stuff and see how thick we are. So right now, I took very little bit out of here because I know it's relatively thin. Now, how far can I push it? Well, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting question. I don't know how far guys push chambers on, uh, on something that's going to be raced. It's going to have a lot of cylinder pressure, so... I guess that's just fine. Cylinder pressure is good, but if you run into detonation at all, that hammering action will cause damage very, very fast. All right, I got 13 out of 13. Obviously, that's not right. Okay, 13 versus 14. These pluses and minuses are in reference to these. Was it a win? Not really. Minus, plus, plus, equals, plus, minus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus. One, two, three, 
four, five, six pluses. One, two, three, four, five minus. All right, so what can we learn from it? Last time I did, it, it was a big payoff, but I also did a couple other things at the same time. I remember I made the the bowl a lot wider at the very roof. And there were some other things. It was around the 25th cut. Somebody uh, wrote in the comments that was their favorite cut. It was flowing almost 300 at a reasonable lift. And it was actually, that was with a 208. I'm trying to do this with a smaller valve here, and I'm not really having a huge amount of success. I was really expecting to do better than this with a 202. Remember, I'd like to keep the chamber tight, and uh, I don't want to... When I opened up the bowl ratio, it was a loser, so I need to keep the bowl, the throat ratio, relatively tight. All right, how do we do as far as swirl? Well, you're giving it more area. You're giving it more area here. This whole side has got a lot more area, so you would figure it would... Oh, there's going to be a lot more volume for it to come out this way, and there's a lot more volume to make it go around the swirl vein that's in there. So you would think, I mean, I would think it would up the swirl, right? It's going to make it so less air wants to go up this ramp because you have more area here now, right? It gives it more room to move. So I'm going to I'm going to think it's going to add swirl. Let's take a look and see if I, how I did. All right, maybe I should look at this stuff before I comment. All right, these pluses and minuses are in reference to this. Minus equals minus, 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 plus, minus, minus, minus. It took a lot of swirl off, which is not what I would think would happen. Do we still have plenty to get done what we got to do? It's getting close. Right around our 500 area, it's getting close. Uh, it's still, still be plenty good for the street even a mild race engine. Almost forgot to show you the bore. We got a little more drip action here than we had last time, but it still is nice and wide. So we can see how the fuel is hitting this differently than it was hitting before when it had less area on that wall. Okay, I goofed last time. I didn't take my air speed, which I always do. So we're going to go back to the number 12, which was wider short side radius. Okay, that was mostly a win. Okay, so we're going to take these air speeds versus these air speeds and see what we got. Our oh, pinch looks quite good at this point. Okay, giving it more area on that side made the top of the pinch come alive. That's a good thing. Okay, this was much lower. Let me put the pluses and minuses in. Okay, I always think it's interesting going over the numbers and seeing what's happening. Okay, so we got a plus, plus, minus on our pinch. As far as our roof, went down a little bit, went down a little bit. Our ramp speed went up. Okay, which is the opposite of what I would think. But, I, you know, I may have... I did measure this ramp speed two different ways. One was 229 and one was 264. I think 264 is a little more accurate, but in reality it only went up a little bit. If I measured it exactly the same as this one, it was only 229. So not a lot of extra air around the ramp. And let's see, it was all measured at 500, so this was 253.6. I'm leaving, I'm going to go pick her up. Got gotcha. My 82 year old mother. She's going to go pick up my daughter at work. Okay. So she's been driving wifey's caddy. Stay off the roads, guys. 315 horsepower at the front wheels. Yeah. Not good. 255. Okay. So that's a little bit more. Oh, well. Where were we? Short side radius. Up, up, minus cylinder wall. You would think it's got way more area on that side, right? It would make more air come out on this side, but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> oh, well. All right, guys. I am, like, out of ideas with this thing as far as what to do with it next. 
yeah, I could work on the short side radius some more because notice how much of our, dis our, our short side radius speeds changed quite a bit. So I know there's an advantage to uh, working on that right now. And uh, I really wanted to get more than, you know, 255 at 500 out of these with uh, a 20250. So give me some feedback. I know you're sick of looking at these, so am I. I'm going to need to do some different work because I'm losing my mind. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.